Hi everyone, my name is Gianna Gonzalez. Hey guys, my name is Evan Lopes, and here at the Hilmer Hat Ag Department, we offer four CTE pathways, Agri Science, Ornamental Horticulture, Ag Business, and Ag Mechanics. Today we're going to be talking to you guys about all of the courses you guys should take to complete the right pathways by graduation. The first pathway we have to offer at the Hilmer Ag Department is the Agri Science pathway. After completing Ag Biology, you can move on to the second class, which is Ag Environmental Science. The second class in this pathway is Ag Environmental Science, commonly taken by sophomores or juniors. You get to learn about the chemistry of soil while doing hands-on labs. The last class in the Agri Science pathway is Ag Systems Management, only taken by juniors or seniors. This is a hands-on class dealing with plant and animal science. Each of these classes counts for a UC or CSU biological lab or physical lab credit. Even if you didn't take Ag Biology, you can still sign up for one of these courses today. We provide a horticulture and floral design pathway if you are interested in learning about flowers and landscape plants. Both the pathways begin with Ag Bio. Next year, you could take floral or horticulture. Since floral is a popular class, it is usually only available to juniors and seniors. In floral, you get to work with real flowers and make arrangements for holidays. In horticulture, you get to repot plants and work in the garden area of the farm while learning about the importance of plant health. Once you complete floral or horticulture, you can take the advanced version of that class, and that will finish up your pathway. Horticulture counts as a UC slash CSU elective credit, and floral counts as a UC slash CSU art credit. And if you haven't taken an ag class before, you're welcome to join in the fun. If you're interested in taking the math route, we have an ag business pathway available. The first class in the ag business pathway is ag biology. The second class is ag business where you learn how to make a business plan and the basics of accounting. This class also counts for a UC math credit. The final class for the Ag Business Pathway is Ag, Gov, and Econ, where you learn about the government's role in agriculture and the economic systems throughout the world. This class is only for seniors and it meets graduation requirements. Next we have the Ag Mechanics Pathway. There are three focuses in this pathway, metal fab, power mechanics, woodworking, and construction. To start these classes, you have to take Ag Mechanics, which teaches you the basic of mechanics. First is Power Mechanics, and you start with small engines. You'll get to work on engines throughout the year and fix them up. Then you can move on to Engine Technology 1 and 2 to complete the pathway. Second is Metal Fabrication, where you can take welding and complete the pathway with a Metal Fabrication class. Third is Woodworking and Construction. You can start with Ag Woods, where you will make smaller wood projects led by the instructor. The last class in this pathway is Advanced Woods. In this class, you can make your own projects. After taking wood, you can also choose the construction class and work on building projects around the ag department and school. Metal Fabrication. This class is for juniors and seniors where you get to design, weld, and create your own projects while learning new skills. Hilmar FSA has many career development opportunities so that everyone can find their interest in the ag industry. Some of these events include raising and selling animals for the fair, competitive teams such as farm power, ag mechanics, dairy judging, etc., leadership development events such as conferences, Hilmar FFA monthly meetings, public speaking competitions such as impromptu, creed, opening and closing, and job interview, and scholarships for college and career readiness. The Hillmar High Ag Department has something for everyone. Make sure to sign up for any classes that caught your interest throughout this video. And if you have any questions, ask the Ag teachers, counselors, or chapter officers. 